Basketball, a game known for its fast pace and intense competition, requires seamless coordination and precise execution. Amidst the flurry of action on the court, players and coaches employ a unique system of hand signals and gestures to convey important instructions, strategies, and play to their teammates. These signs serve as a silent yet powerful language that enhances communication, providing an edge to those who master it. Start clock. Beginning with one hand raised above head, the start of the clock is indicated by dropping the raised hand directly towards the floor. Stop clock. When a referee lifts his or her right hand directly up and blows the whistle, the timekeeper should stop the clock. Stop clock jump ball. The referee will raise both hands together and blow his or her whistle to signal that the clock should be stopped for a jump ball. Stop clock for foul. Leave the clock running until the official has reported the foul and signals for the clock to be stopped. Directional signal. The referee will extend his or her hand to one side of the court to indicate which team gets the ball, if it goes out of bounds. Throw in designation. When the ball goes out of bounds for any reason, or a player with possession of the ball steps out of bounds, the referee will designate the spot where the ball went out of bounds. Move along the end line on throw in. The umpire will hold the ball in the right hand. The left hand will be placed on the right side of the neck and swipe towards the left. Visible counts. The official bend his or her right arm towards the chest and then extend the arm straight out horizontally. Beckoning substitutes. When a substitute is waiting to enter the game, the referee will raise his or her hand at a 45 degree angle and motion the player onto the court. 60 seconds timeout. 30 seconds timeout. The official will take both hands and place them on top of the shoulder with his elbows out. Not closely guarded. Used to indicate a defensive player is not close enough to the player with the ball to begin a closely guarded count. It is also used to show that a player is no longer closely guarded after a count began. Tip ball. Shot is taken closer to the basket, combining an offensive rebound and a layup in the same motion. No score. When the shooter makes a basket but is fouled, the ref must determine if the foul occurred during the act of shooting. Goal counts. The referee signals a goal by raising his or her fist above the shoulder and lowering the fist down to the waist. Point scored. Referee lifts one arm with the number of fingers held up, denoting the number of points scored. Two or three fingers. Three point attempt scored. Three point made. The official will extend both arms directly upwards with fingers pointed. Bonus free throw. The referee will hold his or her hand horizontally and then lower the hand. Signal free throw. Raising one of his arms out to his side and holding it there until the free throw is completed. Delayed lane violation. A player shall not remain in their team's foul lane for more than 3 consecutive seconds while that player's team is in control of a live ball in front court. Traveling violation. When an offensive player in possession of the basketball takes an extra step or makes an otherwise illegal movement with their established pivot foot. Illegal dribble. A player may not dribble a second time after he has voluntarily ended his first dribble. Palming carry. Palming is illegal in all forms of basketball. Backcourt violation. An illegal play that the offense commits while in their own half of the court. 3 second violation. An offensive player cannot be in the lane for more than 3 seconds while his team has the control of the ball. 5 second violation is not permitted to dribble the ball with his back or side to the basket for more than 5 seconds. 10 second violation, a rule that the player must cross the half court line within 10 seconds after their team inbounds the ball. Excessive swinging elbows, excessive swinging of the elbows occur when arms and elbows are swung about while using the shoulders as pivots, and the speed of extended arms and elbows is in excess of the rest of the body as it rotates on the hips or a pivot foot. Kicking. Kicking the ball or striking it with any part of the leg is a violation when it is an intentional act. Illegal hand use. It's generally called when you hit another player on the arm during shooting or when trying to steal the ball. Hand checking. is when a defensive player uses their hands or arms to impede or stop a player that has the ball. 
holding foul. A holding foul occurs when a defender holds, grabs, or pulls an offensive player. It doesn't matter if the offensive player has possession of the ball or not. Blocking. A blocking foul occurs when an attacking player makes contact with an opposing player causing the defender to lose his balance and then fall over. Charging foul or charge is a common foul in basketball. It happens when an offensive player moves into the defender who is inbound. Player control foul. Double foul. Two personal fouls in basketball committed by opponents against each other at the same time. Team control foul signal is done by extending the right arm straight out from the shoulder with the fist closed. Technical foul is any infractions of the rule penalizes a foul which does not involve physical contact during the course of play between opposing players on the court or is a foul by a non-player. Intentional foul In basketball, is a foul that is deemed to have been committed purposely. 